All right, everybody, what's up? I'm here with a new game, Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown. Um, I was actually very skeptical whether or not I'd actually like this game leading up to its release, uh, because this whole time the 3D era Prince of Persia games, like the Sands of Time trilogy, well, that's like still one of my all-time favorite platforming series ever. Those games are so good. Actually, Warrior Within, I think, is still probably within one of my top 10 favorite games of all time. Uh, just the the pacing of that game, the style of it. The music's debatable, because the music doesn't really match the theme of Prince of Persia all that much. But I, I still really love that game. Two Thrones is also really good. Um, Forgotten Sands was thrown into the canon of that trilogy, and Forgotten Sands just okay there's different versions of it i i heard the wii version might actually be the better version of that game the prince actually looks more like the prince in that version as well but forgotten sands short enough to where it's not too bad um it's just it underutilizes a lot of the core mechanics that made prince of persia what it was and then there was also the cell shaded reboot which that game also didn't do that well. I actually I enjoyed that game quite a bit. I think I've beaten it numerous times now to this day. And I actually planned on running through a lot of the Prince of Persia games at a later date on my channel. But since this one just came out and we have some time on our hands before Tekken 8, we're going to play this game. Um, but as I was saying, I was a little skeptical with this one. Uh, I've just I've just really wanted a 3D Prince of Persia game that captures that original trilogy vibe. I was actually really excited for the Sands of Time remake when they announced it, and that thing got delayed indefinitely, so I'm still waiting on that. But they did have a free demo you could play for this game, and I played it, and it is actually pretty fun. I can see it being kind of one of those tough side-scrolling 2D games though. It's supposed to be a Metroidvania type game, but another game that's similar to this that came out recently is uh, Blasphemous 2. They, that game has like the same setup where you have your passive slots for stuff, like passive buffs, and then you kind of just keep going through levels, the enemies respawn, and it's... They do a shit ton of damage, but you also do a decent amount of damage so it relies on your defensive skills and everything like that so you just get into the groove of learning all of the game's mechanics to kind of perfect your way of fighting and then you have the resting points kind of like bonfires and dark souls so that's kind of how this game is set up they kind of advertise it as a return to its roots but this is nothing like the original 2d prince of persia's so it's not really a return to its roots it's just the 2d aspect of it i guess but I think the 3D Prince of Persia are pretty much the definitive versions of the series because the original two Prince of Persia that were side scrollers were not really the same. But I think we're ready to jump in. Um, they do give you some of uh, the like the main uh, outfit that Sargon wears, which is the new main character, because you're not the prince in this one, is very similar to the like fully battle damage prints in sands of time and then if you pre-ordered it you also get the warrior within outfit so they do have some callbacks to the original trilogy so i'm excited to see what else awaits but yeah let's uh see what we got here exploration and guided changes modes at any time feel free to start in exploration mode and switch to guided mode or vice versa i guess we can stick with um Map icons display the location of the next objective available. Oh, I think that'd be helpful to know where the objectives are, right? I guess let's do this then, because I'd like to know where I have to go. We might just stick with warrior. Oh, you can customize the difficulty? I mean, I think normal... Athra depletion rate, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, let's just do normal. Thirty years had passed. Decades without rain. The once fertile plains of Fars had become as barren as the loot salt desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis the Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. P 
Persian soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kashan general, victory was certain. Until history took a different turn. The Seven Immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. Onward, immortals! Anahita! Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Let's go, Sargon. Alright, we're jumping right in. So yeah, this is Sargon. The, I... I feel like the, um, I said this before because of the graphic style when they announced this game, it reminded me of Immortals Phoenix Rising, and since these are, these characters are known as Immortals, I almost wonder if this is actually supposed to be, like, Prince of Persia, but within the Immortals Phoenix Rising franchise universe, maybe? Because this is a very different vibe from the other Prince of Persia games. Alright, let's get going here. The thing that I always find funny about these type of games is you're always supposed to be this, like, insanely powerful character, but they make it, like, where you die really fast and you really have to have your defense tactics down. <laughs> a lot of games where you're always supposed to be, like, a god among men always have that style of gameplay for some reason, which is fine. I'm not saying that's, like, a bad thing. It's so it's sometimes nice to have a challenge. I was just seeing what was down there, but... It's just always that, it's always that story. Like, you're always this, like, crazy, powerful character, but then in-game, you're actually pretty weak. Oh, you can slide. Oh, wait, no, I knew that in the demo. There's, like, this one weird gap in the demo that I had to slide underneath something that I had to jump to. But you can't do a mid-air slide. All right, it still lets me parry. I wonder if I start with the air ed launch. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it actually feels really nice the way the combat is. Oh, I don't have air dash. The demo had like custom settings, so I'm kind of used to doing other things. None of you will leave here alive. This hargun just. Ruthless. Oh, they're dead. Hey, who's having all the fun? <laughs> when Elias cleared apart. Follow me, Sargon! Alright, or Orrod? Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't think we have to worry about any collectibles in this section or anything. I don't think anything's missable in this game though. Keep running, Sargon! We must eliminate those Kushan archers. Leave it to me! Damn, where's our super jump? Oh, 
We're not getting attacked yet. I wonder if I can parry arrows at this point. Oh shit. Oh no. I mean, you can kind of just keep juggling them. How many did you get? I'll get out of your way so you can catch up! Yeah, I'm killing more people than him. Yeah, there's like some enemies that have an attack that kind of glows yellow, and there are those if you parry those, it's like an automatic finisher, and it looks pretty cool. God, how many of these guys are we dealing with? Some of these character models remind me of Fable 3. <laughs> like the shape of the meshes on the outfits and stuff like that. Dude, this place is just... Are, are we trying to save this place? Because I don't, I don't know. It's going to be a lot of rebuilding. I don't have a bow. Oh, we, he died in one parry. Holy shit. I guess we're down here now. Oh, here we go. Yeah, those are the execution parries. Those are pretty sick. Hey man, you're stealing my shit. General must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. You might need it. Take what? Oh, a health potion. All right. Uh, I'm not gonna drink it right now. Not that low in health. What the hell is that? Javiska, you can't hide from me. Oh, that wasn't. That was a dude. He got impaled on the wall. <laughs> Ends first. Well, at least he treats his men with respect. Okay. Not sure if I can parry that. Ah, oh, man, it is hard to read him. Okay, I don't think I can parry red attacks. I wonder if you're not supposed to be able to beat him, though. Yeah, I don't know if you can parry that. Oh, you can parry him. Oh, now 
now he's on the ground. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simurg graced my shoulder thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tomiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varun, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia! Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. Okay, so this is what the prince looks like. In the demo, they don't actually show him. He actually has a similar look to Sands of Time. I guess. A little bit longer hair, but he still has like somewhat of a soul patch. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Prince Hassan. <sighs> Let us drop the honorifics. And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. They also gave the prince a name this time. Hassan. It, wait, wasn't um, in the movie with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, wasn't his name Hassan? Like H-A-S-A-N? Or No, it was Dastin. It was Dastin. It just kind of sounds familiar. So weird hearing him with a name, though, because normally he's just referred to as the prince. As you wish, Hassan. Alright, there's the royal sash. He basically wears it as like a belt. That's what gives him that Sands of Time look. Yep, he's wearing it right now already. So can we talk to everybody? We owe this victory to you, Rashabar. I am glad you're on our side. Just watch out. The Rashabar is said to sow ruin and destruction. I do not believe such stories. I've seen your contribution in battle. See, that is all that matters to me. I think I cut him off for a second there. Your name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. What a reputation. I think the prince also had blue eyes in the other trilogy. Maybe. I didn't ask to be prince either, but fate has spoken and I must accept it. Varum, we're somehow the only immortals left here. <laughs> the others are probably letting loose up on the roof. Not all warriors belong in the throne room. Join them, Sargon. I'll be along soon enough. Alright, which way is the roof, though? Do we have a map? No, we don't have a map yet. Long live the House of Tamiris. Can we attack? Maybe yeah, we can. It'd be funny if there's a secret behind the wall. The queen also left. I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did we? 
Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supplies. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? Yes. I let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. Found an answer yet? I won't figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. You should join us. Thanks, but I have other matters to attend to. You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. Just watch me. And listen to Varum. He will keep you on the right path. Sargon's kind of arrogant. Alright, so are we supposed to go this way? Let's see what's down the other path first. See if there's anyone else we can talk to. Long live the house of Tamiris! Oh, just a random guard. Can't go that way. Wait, we have to climb up there? Why don't they just have a staircase? Alright, use their friends. I'm telling you, Prince Hassan may be my son! <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all. <laughs> You are really not her type. Whose type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. <laughs> the queen's new protege. So, you're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. Oh, kind of. That, that was an invitation to something. Was Varum still with you? Yeah, he's in the throne room. Oh, there. Must be collecting our payment. What payment? Artaban gets paid in scrolls. I can hear you, man Elias. Not bad, kid. Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? <laughs> Keep it up, and maybe one day you'll take on a real challenge like me. Ugh, you just don't want to get your ass kicked in front of an audience. <laughs> Keep dreaming, kid. Go see Nate. She's waiting for you. I mean, I think he just meant not bad, man. So, will you still remember us now that you're famous? <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble and find what is at the end of my blade. Oh, sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um, sort of, in her own way. You know, it is amazing what you did. You should be proud of yourself. We all are. One of our own eliminated the Kashan general. Outstanding. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> you have always been destined for greatness. And with Sargon's bravery, that's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but can we go celebrate now? Our usual haunts has food and drinks on the house. Varum, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Varum! Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnappers? They must still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. Well, that happened real quick. Whoa, what the hell?
Well, shouldn't we go to the throne room? How did he get kidnapped so easily, man? Oh, this is where we get our Othra Surge. These are like powers. You can choose certain attacks on your thing, but I'm not sure which one they start us out with here. Alright. Probably all dead, yep. Yeah. actually continue that. I wonder if they have a yellow attack. Alright, looks like that's all of them. Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. Move out of my way. What the hell was that? Ah, uh, still a child. Good job, Sargon. Why didn't you just jump over it? Oh shit. Tried to jump over him. He parried that. Oh, he missed the first attack. God damn it. <laughs> He missed the first attack that I tried to parry, so then he instantly got the second one. Getting him now, don't. Alright, he's dead. Anahita, what is going on? Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Is she involved? Yes, she is. Without a doubt. Baram. Gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Kaf at once in search of Prince Hassan. Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can get. We will not fail you, Your Majesty. Bring him back. Bring back my son. Citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. 
I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Carf, and perhaps still does. It has always been the Simorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Simorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. Alright. This is actually where the demo starts. Got anything back here? You never know where they tuck things away. Dude, Anaida, she betrayed us. That the dialogue's different in the demo though. It doesn't actually say anything about that as at least I don't recall it saying anything about that. Yep, now we're at Mount Calf. Or Calf, however it's pronounced. This is when things start to open up for us. Calf. Most sacred of mountains. Been here before? No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of King Darius's palace. Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here, accessible to all. Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom, the pride of all Persia. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? I'm sure he's fine. Does he repeat Who dialogue? Knows what might await yeah, you can. I wasn't sure if they said something new. I do like the art style of this game, though. Like the way the backgrounds are kind of like up they kind of look like a like a painting almost. Damn. In the demo there was like an air dash. That's how you'd like reach that stuff. Can't go up there now though. Things just floating in the air. What is this sorcery? I'm a warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. It always has to do with time. Why are they just standing around though? Shouldn't they be looking for the prince? Oh, there's a chest in there. Can we open this gate, though? I'm, like, hearing something. Maybe I just can't do any of that yet? Stay sharp. Prince Hassan can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, man Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. And there's only one way to find out. Ha 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 ha! Let's go then!
Varum, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the Prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. Well, thanks a lot, Rajin, or whatever her name is. Nice to know we have some teamwork. Kinda wanna see the uh, yellow attack on these guys. I'm pretty sure they have one. I guess we can kill one of these guys. Ah, oh, goddammit, I pressed it too early. Shit! Yeah, you, you die real quick on this game. Just sitting there trying to parry an attack. But yeah, just the basic enemies kill you in three hits. Ooh, we're starting to get some crystals. Oh, wait, that was the only one this time? Aw, oh, damn it. Really wanted to see a finisher on him. Another gated door. Is it like a distance thing? Seems like they do like a battle charge. Yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. It's like the classic vaulting over the enemy from the original trilogy. It's pretty cool. How do I break that? I can't do a charge attack because he tries to attack it. Another thing we can't do yet? Just die. Ooh, I was in the middle of a slide kick. I couldn't do anything yet. Oh, come on, man. I did not want to use that. But whatever. It'll probably refill by our next battle encounter. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can animation cans. Oh, you can. Oh, but if the attack's fully charged, then you can. All right. It's trying to cancel into parry. Oh, we do get... Okay. I wasn't sure if I got actual crystals from breaking stuff. up that way. What is beneath me? Alright, we dropped that bridge. Mighty Smurg. I wonder if those actually do anything for us. Or if they're basically like a collectible. Oh, you can actually just attack these as well. I like how they have the the backflip. 
Um, they, they did, like, a remake of the original Prince of Persia, like, the 2D side-scroller one. They did a remake with, uh, Sands of Time character models and stuff like that. It's on PS3 and the Xbox Live Arcade. Um, and th this backflip kind of looks like the one you can do in that. Damn, if I had the air dash... Crystals. Did that one guy survive? Maybe. It's all the way down here. Oh, I guess we loaded into it. Huh. Oh, the door closed on us. Can I... No, okay. Well, I'm gonna need something to be able to hit through this, I guess. Another thing we can't do. <laughs> it's weird that it has load screens. I probably did not need to jump all the way up there. Alright, he's dead. Can't get up there. Dude, I'm doing all this exploration and I can't even do anything. Oh, can't grab the edge there. Those explosive barrels? What the hell is that? Oh, damn. Oh, they can kamikaze. <laughs> Those platforms can drop. Do we have anything else down here? No, looks like we're good. You never know if there's going to be a breakable wall. Looks like we can go down there. Door we can't go through. I think I'm supposed to be basically going a specific way right now. Basically just some added lore. Oh, here's one of our bonfires, technically. What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go where others can't. I've chatted and argued with every creature. And I know every tree here. Like this one? Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wack Wack. They have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath its leaves to restore your energy. There are many Wack Wack trees throughout Mount Calf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... A general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Calf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. Here, for you. Alright, here's our map, basically. Go on. Try it. Yeah, this lets us see everything. So there's our objective. I think it only probably locates that. Ooh, what's that mean? 
Oh, that's where we died? Okay. Oh, okay. It does tell you what's all in an area, though. So that's cool. Hey, I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Kaf. Yeah, this is in the demo as well. You can take pictures of the area, basically. Yep, backtracking, basically. See, like, it basically has a screenshot. I kind of wish if you just see the collectibles, it would place a marker on the map rather than having to take a picture of it, but... I guess they were trying something new with that. Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the Immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Well, Sargon, I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Karth. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can, but I'll need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? <laughs> Welcome to Mount Karth. go we can use these now oh they don't actually give me a menu yet there'd be like a menu pop-up in the demo so we can't really do anything yet these guys have a yellow I think they do actually come on do it Gonna be a dick. Ow. Oh damn. Oh god. Alright, was there anything else down here? another way around basically <laughs> I even fully explore in this direction yet Try and knock him off the edge. We got a breakable wall here. I think I actually found this place in the demo. I wonder if this, yeah, the same enemies are in here too. These things are actually kind of annoying. Died. No wall here. All right, before we go out that way, there was another one up here. Ow. These, those things hit really hard. Not noticing any more breakable walls here.
All right, let's see where this led. Oh, okay, that's how we get around. That's where we dropped down because that one door was closed. Oh, wait, can I even get out? Shouldn't I be able to just go this way? Yeah, there we go. That probably wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, did I fully explore the area beneath us? There's another way over here, wasn't there? Oh, I kind of wish I would have went this way first. <laughs> now we actually probably have to go that other way. Nothing over here. Nothing here either? Alright. I wonder if that one enemy is still alive. Yep, there he is. Oh, come on. Tried to parry that. Nothing over here. I think we have to break this thing. I think that's how we progressed in the demo, but I'm just checking all of our paths here. Oh man, do I even have the health for this? This body looks unique compared to all the others. Where the hell am I going right now? The depths? Oh shit. Collectible item required. acquired. The mirror. Alright, I didn't actually know there was collectibles. Hey, it's uh it's our friend. They tell me you found a path to Prince Hassan and Anahita. No. Have you? It seems they avoided the depths of the citadel. Only the most abominable creatures lurk in the darkest reaches. I do my best work in the shadows, and Hassan is not here. Don't take unnecessary risks. Thanks for the warning, Rajin. So then why is she still hanging out down here? <laughs> I, mean, I feel like we're taking an unnecessary risk right now. What's that light down there? Oh shit. Thought it was a staircase at first. Oh, we get hurt by this. Ow. Okay, how do we stop poison? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Damn. So you can take poison damage in this game, that's good to know. Alright, I just came back up here. I think before we go to the depths, we should probably continue forward here. Because I think this is the way that it wants us to go. If we increase our health a bit before we go into the depths, that poison damage is no joke. We did find a collectible mirror, though. Sargon, up here. Oh, hello. Okay. That is not what I wanted to use. I just wanted to attack out of my parry. <laughs> Up 
this time. Ooh. Which way do I go here? Actually, we can just check our map. Alright, so let's go this way. This is the way we're not supposed to go. Um. Well, never mind. I don't think we can go this way. I can't make that jump. Take the prince to the Simor Gate. Anahita! Don't you dare harm him! If you want Prince Hassan back, come and get him! Anahita! Anahita was here. She's taking Hassan to the Simor Gate. Then Artaban may be right about her wanting the throne. That thing above us. What is it? I'm not sure. But to get to Hassan and Anahita, we must destroy it. From this distance, that's not possible for either of us. Maybe Menelias can help here. Varum sent him to the east to investigate the forest. I'll try to find him. I'll look for another way. And he's got to be in the one spot he's not needed. I mean, they just super jump like 50 feet. Why, why can't you just make that jump? Yeah, we have a bow in the demo, but obviously you get the bow later. What is this thing? Wait, can I interact with the statues? Nope. Keep going this way. Yeah, okay, it's in the same spot. Got like a shop here. What brings you here, traveler? My allies and I are in pursuit of a traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here too. Mount Calf has seen its share of travelers. Many are lost within the web of time's curse. Beware, warrior. Death and misery roam the citadel. I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors must be prepared. Take this. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one is precious and can only be changed as a whack whack tree. I'll make good use of this. Take this and we get our amulet. Yep, slightly increases max health. There was one in the demo that was actually really nice where if you would land a pair, you would gain health back. Welcome. Welcome. What kind of stuff does she sell? Increase the number of amulets, amulets you can carry. Slightly reduce incoming poison effect damage. That'd be nice for the depths. Old currency. Is this just a collectible that you have to buy? Upgrades. Do not have enough for that. These amulets are very old. Older than me, certainly. Each crafted by ancient magi. There are magi in Persepolis. They provide medicines. Those in Mount Calf possess more unique abilities. Though much has been forgotten. The longer Mount Calf remains imprisoned within this time paradox, the more we'll all forget our knowledge and way of life. You spoke of dangers within the city. Yes. Evil has had time to reach deep into Mount Calf. The cursed walk every part of the citadel. Each day there are more. Caused by these twists of time? At first, the anomalies and the time crystals all seemed strange. How can such a thing happen? No one is really sure. I'm certain it's tied to the Simurgh. The Simurgh protected all of Persia 
since time began. And as the Simorg is god of time, when it vanished, then time became lost. I believe so. Those you encounter here are all trapped. Some tried to flee, but... But none of us can flee from time. Exactly so. If the Simurg never returns, madness is the fate of us all. Well, that just reminds me of the Dahaka chasing the prince from Warrior Within. Prince trying to escape time and escape his fate. That was such a good story in that game. My amulets will aid your journey. All right, I think that's all she's gonna say to us then. We have another tree here. Is I wonder if the oh, can we go through here? No, we can't go through here yet. In the demo, this is where you'd go to like upgrade your weapons. You obviously don't have access to that yet. All right, let's awaken our tree here. This is the deluxe amulet. Hear a special sound near treasure chest or hidden item. Oh, it doesn't even take up a slot. All right, it's just, that's just a passive thing, I guess. But we'll probably end part one here. Oh wait, what the hell? Oh, we have a bird that just follows us around. That must be for that amulet then, that's kind of neat. How do we actually, how do we change our outfit? I don't know. Oh, probably in here. I was just, I was just curious to see what they looked like. Immortal, this is from the Deluxe. I think. Looks kind of cool. Warrior Within. Still one of the Prince's best outfits. This is the one that I wish they would use more often rather than the Sands of Time one. Just looks really cool. Keep hitting the wrong button. And then we have Young Sargon. This is a Ubisoft Connect reward you can redeem. Which I guess... He was homeless when he was young. Let's just switch back to the default here. Athra surges. We only have one right now. Lore. Okay, there's the mirror we found. Damn, is this all of them that you can find? Or are there extra slots? A lot of collectibles. And then system. Alright, but yeah, we're probably going to end part one here. Game's fun. It has a really nice style to it. Uh, it definitely is a tough game, though. The enemies hit really hard, but it's... You just gotta got, kind of get used to the defense. I'm sure there's gonna be some boss fights that are pretty ridiculous, though. Oh, we have an additional... Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, the amulet we picked up. But, yeah, it's a fun game so far. Like I said, I, I still much prefer the uh, Sands of Time game style for Prince of Persia rather than this, but this isn't at all a bad game. It's really fun so far. Um, it's just something different. Like I said, it definitely feels like it's supposed to be a, an Immortals game, kind of like Immortals Phoenix Rising, and it's not really supposed to be, like, what Prince of Persia is from here on out. At least I hope not. I really want them to do something 3D again, but just something more modern. Though, with Ubisoft, modern isn't always the best word to use, because a lot of their games actually seem to go backwards rather than forwards in terms of their game mechanics, but... I like how he's got idle animations. It's pretty cool. Oh, the bird actually lands on our shoulder, too. Interesting. I did not expect that. But yeah, uh, they started 2024 off with a game that's being received pretty well. So that's good. But one of their executives also said something really stupid recently about gamers getting used to not owning their games. So I guess it's always one step forward, two steps back for them. But as always, thanks for watching. I'm excited to continue this, so I'll see you guys in uh, part two.